Hi then guys, uh, good friends of YouTube. I'm just uh, doing a quick video just to show you uh, me winding this uh, secondary for these ferrite cores just here. Okay, two of these which I got off Maxi 2007 some time ago. And uh, I'm just going to show you how I uh, basically run it off with a motor, with a Variac. So uh, I'm just going to show you that what, with this, just this quick one here. Come on, get my hands a lot of the wet through because I've been concentrating. So, start the Variac. Just get it slowly. Oh, I'm getting close because I need to uh, see what I'm doing. And then I uh, wait for it to go. And then away we go. Tap that centre screen on you to make sure it's, it's focused in. I basically just use my nail. T tap that centre screen on these. Stop blurry. Good girl. <sighs> this wire is very, very thin. Too close because it'll go blurred. Why did you do that? The actual paper underneath causes a little bit of bumpage now and again in the coil, but well, can't be helped. You have no nail left on the uh, at the end of it, of course. <laughs> but uh, cool, blimey, Anise, you've zoomed right in. What you zoomed right in for you, silly Nana? Hope the video is all right. Otherwise, my uh, subscribers are going to be saying, "Get another employer, <laughs> employee," should I say? <laughs> well, yeah, uh, that's a bit of um, drain pipe just there. What I'm using. I've gone from bigger to smaller and smaller. That's the smallest of near enough of what I am. But uh, is it, thanks for nudging me there, Treacle. Uh, but yeah, I've gone from quite a large coil down to a smaller coil so that it doesn't uh, get any flashovers on the uh, windings. But uh, yeah, this is for a large uh, flyback transformer. So I've just been using the old Variac just there and a clamp just to clamp the motor down. And there you go. Thanks for watching guys, look after yourselves, be safe.